Hey everyone, how's it going? We're playing some more Valheim. Let's continue taking a couple of these charred fortresses. Now today, I wanted to do it in a form of a time lapse. Last video, I showed you guys how to really easily take fortresses using the troll stav. We did it live, we did it in person, we did the whole thing. Now, in my area, there's three or four charred fortresses, and I wasn't going to put you guys through me taking every single one manually. So I thought, what better way to take the next two fortresses than with a time lapse? So we're going to use the same trick. You roll up to a fortress, you take care of the things on the outside as much as, like, you know, the things that are bothering you. If they're not bothering you, then you can just leave them alone. You shoot down the ballistas using the Staff of Embers, and then as long as you can get to the wall, you just use the Troll Staff on the wall, it spawns the trolls inside, and you basically let them do their magic. If things run up and try to gank you, take care of them. I mean, we should be able to take down at least the dog or a few skeletons here and there, uh, but the rest of it, you literally just use your Staff, and you just let the trolls do all of the hard work for you while you sit and watch. Yeah, that's really about it. Like I said, there's two fortresses. This should be enough resources to get me fully upgraded with maxed gear in the game. So using the flame metal and the gems that I find inside of this one along with the other one, theoretically, I will now have enough to get uh, my mage stuff. And I guess my mage armor is already maxed, but I mean my staffs. I'll get, you know, the the green staff maxed up i'll get the the was it the dunder maxed i'll get the uh the fracture thing max even though i'm not going to use them i'm just going to get all those things maxed but even more importantly i want to get the melee stuff maxed i need to you know fully upgrade the shield fully upgrade the armor more importantly and i'll have a few extra ingredients also to make the few final weapons uh like the bow stuff like that so I'm pretty excited. That is one fortress done. It, you guys saw it live. It's literally as easy as that. Just roll up to the wall, grab your troll staff. Here is another example. So I pull up, you know, as I do. You guys know how much I love pulling up with my troll staff. You sit by the wall, you spawn them in, you let them do your work. Easy peasy. And I mean, it, it's even hard to find things to commentate about. That's like how easy it is, right? It's hard to find things to talk about because it's simple. It's not some 20 step process where you need to, you know, it's not a long puzzle. There's not a lot of ingredients. You, you need a troll staff. Okay. <laughs> That's all you need. You need troll staff and you walk up to the wall. It, it, there's hard, it's hard to find things to talk about, but we're going to sit here. We're going to chill. We're going to watch past David take on a few fortresses. And yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I have found i wasn't expecting the ashlands to take this many videos oh and here's me falling a fallen fighting a fallen valkyrie because it pulled up on me like a butthead i wasn't expecting to make this many videos on the ashlands i thought it was going to be taking three four videos max but i think we're actually finally nearing the end i did a lot of the things that i said i wanted to do i built a base with some of the new materials I've taken on most of the challenges as far as the fortresses and things like that. My gear will soon be maxed. Both melee and mage will both be maxed. We're kind of running out of stuff to do, guys. So, I mean, kind of sad to say, but we might not have many videos left of Valheim before we have to move on to another game and we'll have to, you know, basically wait for the next update. There is one thing that we still have to do, but honest, I'm going to be 100% with you. I don't, know, I don't know if I have the heart to do it, but there is this certain magical flaming sword that is the best melee weapon in the game. It's The problem is, man, it is hard to acquire. You need to find several pieces, like kind of like in Terraria when you know, you're building the Zenith Blade. There are pieces scattered across the Ashlands, and they're not very common. Usually, there's like one piece per map, meaning you need to check the entirety of the Ashlands to find each individual piece. Man, I don't know if I have the heart, but that would be the last thing we have to do. So, as you can see here, the fortress is gone. I built a battering ram just to get inside, but everything inside was killed by the, by the trolls. That's about it. I think I'm going to start grabbing the stuff. I'm going to haul it back to the portal and the boat. We'll have to now take the boat back to home. Of course, 
if I was smart, I actually would have brought the stone portal with me, but I didn't. I brought just the normal fire portal. So, everything that can be teleported, I'm going to do that. Anything that can't be teleported, like the cogwheels and the flame metal, we are going to have to take back manually by boat over to the stone portal. But honestly, it's not that big of a deal. I, we sailed here. We shouldn't have any trouble sailing back. And we, I already kind of know the Bone Maws aren't really a problem. We took on four Bone Maws just to get here. Honestly, we kind of know how things are done in the Ashlands nowadays, so it's not as hard. We figured out the tricks for the final boss, the fortresses, the dungeons. Like, you know, we're kind of in that point where I wouldn't call the Ashlands easy yet because it's definitely not. I, I think definitely the hardest part of the Ashlands is just getting to things because... You know, you'll see an enemy, and that enemy will bring to two, three, four, five. But the actual objectives of the Ashlands aren't really hard anymore. All right, here's all the flame metal that we got. We're well over 100, which is crazy. I'm pretty sure we won't need much more than that. Maybe for the next update, we'll need more. But for now, that'll be more than enough to fully upgrade everything that we have. Okay, so now that we're home and we have all this flame metal with us, the obvious next step is we gotta build more blast furnaces, man. I'm patient, but I'm not that patient. Uh, we need to get these ingots rolling a little bit more quick. So, I got enough stuff to build two more blast furnaces along with the blast furnace that we have kind of at the original area. So, let's, let me try to find a good place for this. Uh, see, that's kind of uh, that's a little sideways. I don't think I like that. Let me let me try to replace it. Uh, yeah, I don't I don't like how that sticks out. That's weird. All right. Uh. Uh. Right here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's probably the closest. All right. Cool. Also, it's very interesting that we have our blast furnaces inside of our house. But honestly, I kind of dig it. So let's go ahead and get these bad boys rolling and let's start looking for upgrades. Okay, so here are a few of the first couple items that I know we'll need for an upgrade, especially for a couple of our staves, some celestial feathers, a jade. I'm trying to think of what else that I need. I, I need I need quite a few things to be honest. And here's another thought, and we're definitely gonna do with this video. In the comments, one of you guys said, Why are you using the standard chests still there are much better chests in the game why are you using standard and my response to that was bad habits but you know all bad habits have to be broken eventually so i promised by the end of this video we will go ahead and redo all of the chests we're going to use all of our black metal to make as many black metal chests as possible and then once we we have no more black metal we're going to use all of our iron that we have and we're going to make a bunch of reinforced chests and we're going to completely redo our inventory system and i know that'll make at least one of you happy considering one of you complained about it in the comments and i don't blame you i know it's kind of annoying all right staff of the wild upgrade bam there we go so we have that now maxed time to move on to some other things so i know we have the this thing and the dead razor so we need to get both of these up to max although i don't use them you know we have to at least get them maxed that's what we have to do next. I'm trying to think of the spine snap. Wait, isn't there like a better bow than the spine snap? Yeah, so we'll have to let go of the spine snap. And for now, also, considering that we're going to redo our inventory system, I'm also just going to shove a lot of things in the corner because it's going to have to be redistributed among the chests. I don't care if it's in the corner, you know. If anything, I should take everything in my chest, put them in the corner to redo them, but yeah. All right, let's try to take a look for the next things that we have to upgrade. Let's also refill the furnaces while we still can. Make sure that these are constantly rolling to get all of the flame metal out. Like I said, I expect us to need a lot of flame metal 
uh, in the next update. But I also can't be talking about the next update because that probably won't be for... Uh, uh, I don't even know how long. But yeah, we should just stay and focus up, right? Enjoy this update while we have it. Okay, so this Ash Fang. This is the... This is what I was talking about, where I think there is something better than the Spine Snap. So we have to make this Ash Fang. So you guys saw the ingredients. Let me try to remember as many ingredients on there as possible. I know we had some charred bones. What else was on there? I'm trying to just look through my chests for it to jog my memory. I know once I see the item, it'll be like, oh, yeah. Okay, so I do need some logs. Oh, yeah, I need this. And then... Was there one more item? Oh no, the last item was the flame metal. So actually we have everything that we need. Let's go ahead and do a little jump. All right, Ash Fang. And then what do we need to upgrade it? That's the real question. Oh, Fang, Storm Fang, Roof. Oh, we're gonna have to try to make one of those. For now though, let's just upgrade the one that we have now. But remind me that we'll have to, we'll have to give it an upgrade. I didn't even realize that I could do that. Although, look, the bow is probably one of the least useful things. Let's go ahead and upgrade it. But it's also one of the least useful things for me personally because I have the the, the ice staff. When in the world am I going to use a bow? You know, when I have the ice staff, it's just, you know, I don't know. Now, it'll be important when I get my melee build. So we'll definitely make a really good Ash Fang. But let's try to get everything else upgraded. And then we'll make that after. Oh, dude. My uh, my main chest here is a little bit messy. I should probably rearrange it. Let's throw some stuff out. Alright, I think it's time to upgrade my the, the, the two staffs here. The dead razor. So we need skull trophy eater and bones. That is not bad at all. I'm hoping we have enough eater for it. And then the fracture. Okay, some powder and some more stuff. Okay, that is honestly not too bad. I think we have plenty of eaters. So that's no problem. We have plenty of trophies. So that is also not really much of a problem. What else? What else? Bones. We need some more bones. I, also, I know I also dropped some in the corner, but I don't feel like picking them up from the corner. All right. What else? What else? What did I... What am I forgetting here? I feel like I'm forgetting something. What am I forgetting? Bones. Right. Bones and... Ashwood. Bones and Ashwood. Okay, so I know I have plenty of bones. Because, you know, I always like my things boneless. Except my wings. Everything should be boneless except wings. If you disagree, you're wrong. I'm going to be 100% with you. Uh, bones, 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 bones. Oh. Bones, 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 bones. Okay. Okay, what else do I need? I need some wood. Where's my wood? Oh, my wood chest doesn't have any. Okay, I didn't I drop some earlier? I swear I dropped some. Wait, it's literally laying right on top for me. Okay. Let's go ahead and upgrade. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Wait. Oh, oh I crafted them instead of upgraded them. Uh, I made the same mistake with the staff of embers, funny enough. Oh, I'm a goof. Please tell me I have enough material to still upgrade everything. Oh, dude, thank God I do. Oh, thank God. Okay. There we go. They are maxed, even though we're stupid and crafted two new ones. But these are these are maxed, so we're good. Okay, everybody. Like I mentioned earlier, it's time to start the process of redoing my inventory system. We're going to go ahead and start with these black metal chests. These things are crazy big. They're gigantic, but they also require black metal, which is... I wouldn't say one of the harder things to get, but I just don't have a lot of it on hand. So we're going to just try to build as many of these as possible and then build the rest with reinforced chests, which should be good just for now until we maybe get some more black metal rolling. 
But yeah, look how big those things are. Okay, here is another couple of these black metal chests. And I think we'll be able to get two more in here. And then we'll have to move on to the reinforced. I'll likely just use these for things that are, you know, we have a lot of. So stone, wood, grouse in, things like that. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and switch back to a time lapse here just because the entire process of taking everything in the chest, moving it to another chest, replacing it with the reinforced chest, and moving things back in, doing that for 30 to 40 chests took me quite a while, and I don't want to, again, bore you guys with that whole process, and I thought this would be a little bit more fun in a time lapse, get to see the entire inventory system redone in just a minute or two instead of, you know, two hours. So you can see here, I'm just slowly breaking, and I'm kind of reorganizing as I go, kind of crudely. Once I'm done with all of the chests, I'll go through once again and make like specific chests for things. But crudely, I'm also just doing it right now. Like there's, I'll have like three or four uh, drop chests for all like the enemy things. I'll have a wood, I'll have a seeds, a food, a non-cooked food. Uh, things that are crafty, crafted, like the set, well, not the sap, but you know what I mean, like things like the staff and the soft tissue in one, hide in one, boss drops in one. I'm trying to think of what else. There's obviously going to be three or four trophy reinforced chests, uh, rare items, things like the gems. So yeah, those are just a couple of the chests that I can think of kind of off the top of my head, but yeah, we're kind of we're almost at the end of the time lapse. Here you guys can see I have all of them. I'm just reorganizing, and we're kind of good. All right, so the chests are now done. I keep talking about upgrading my melee stuff. I think it's finally time to go ahead and do that. But let's run over to the Black Forge. Okay, I think we might actually play Metal Greaves. So hide, bones, and flame metal. So let's go ahead and actually grab the things out of the chest. The upgrade will likely use a lot of the same material, right? So we'll probably just need a lot of bones, a lot of flame metal. Um, let's just grab all of our melee stuff and just see what it takes. Yeah, hide, flame metal. Okay, we need two eater for the helmet, which I'm pretty sure we have exactly like two eaters. So we got pretty lucky on that end. Okay. Okay, let's grab the ash wood. Let's grab the hide. Let's grab the flame metal, and I know we have more in the middle chest too. Yeah, let's grab a little more. Okay, so let's upgrade everything. We've got the breastplate. We've got the greaves. And we got the shield. Okay, so what do we have? What's left? The helmet? Oh, yeah. Okay, we need some eater. Uh, let's put this back. I'm carrying way too much. I can't walk. I'm stuck. All right, eater. Where did I put that eater again? Uh, all right, there's my eater. Let's go ahead and grab two of them. And there we go. Upgraded the helmet. My armor is now fully maxed. I think my Nidhogg is now maxed. Yeah, that's kind of everything. I think we just have to do the bow now. That might be it. We have to hunt down the best sword in the game. We'll be set. All right, everybody. So I've been looking through the other things that we can make. And actually... I do want to make the upgraded Ash Fang, but also I want to make the Berserker Axes along with the Ripper. All three looked pretty cool, so I thought, you know what, let's just go ahead and make them today and get them upgraded. So here are most of the materials that I'll, I'll need. I also need some flame metal and some of this hide that I dropped right here. So yeah, let's take a look. <clears throat> First thing, these Berserker Axes. Man, I heard these things have a nasty amount of dps and as you can see we can upgrade each of them to the bleeding the storm or the root 
which I definitely want to get the storm. I heard that is the highest DPS for that specific weapon. Now, moving on to the Ash Fang. Once again, we have the Blood, we have the Storm, we have the Root. Now, for this one, I don't know <clears throat> which one is specifically the best. We're probably going to go with the Storm just for the extra DPS. I know the Root could be cool because you could like, hit them with it and then they could be rooted and you could hit them again for basically for free. But I think the Storm just does extra damage. So, yeah, I think we're just going to go with that extra damage. And as you can see, both of them are fully upgraded. So I have the max axes and bow now, which is pretty cool. All right. <clears throat> Grabbing the stuff to make the ripper. We need the stuff that the Morgan drops. We also need the stuff that the bone mod drops along with some wood. And I think maybe a little flame metal. So let's, I've, I've been cooking, you know, cooking in the, in the crock pot. Let's go ahead and make that ripper. <clears throat> and just like the other things, the wound, or yeah, the, oh, the wound ripper, the storm ripper, and the other ripper. A little bit more flame metal, and I think we'll be able to get this upgrade rolling. And once again, we're going to make the storm ripper just for that extra damage. And bang, there's all three. The three new storm weapons already fully upgraded. Dude. And do, oh, look how bright green it is. That is so sick. Let's go ahead and... I didn't even realize that the crossbow needs bolts instead of arrows. I went ahead, went to the Ashlands. I grabbed some more ash wood. Here are some bolts. All right, let's give this Ripper a try. I'm very curious how much damage this does. I mean, this is a lot. Oh, my, dude, that's a lox, bro. These things have like a million HP. You're telling me I did over a quarter of its HP? Yo, this thing's busted. I mean, okay, here... I'll probably have to wait a little bit and see... Like, how this is compared to, like, an Ashlands thing. But to a Lox, that's pretty good. Yeah, I can't complain about that. Now, what about a Fueling? Is this... Dang, it almost... Uh, almost one-shots of Fueling. But... Realistically, if I get my skill up, that's e that's GG. All right, what about an Ashlands thing? See it all of a sudden doesn't do as much. What? Oh, the dude! Look at these, dude. Oh, yo, is that the? Okay, that's got to be the highest DPS in the game, right? Like, no doubt, that's the highest DPS. Because I destroyed that. That's like the fire, the the Staff of Embers, but every half second, dude. Oh, and it can block. Oh, my God. All right, last thing I want to do today, I want to place a black metal chest here. And I just want to quickly organize my equipment Kind of put it all in one place so I know what I got and what I don't got. But guys, I'm kind of sad to say we have done every single thing now in this update. Minus the secret super special rare flaming sword. That is the only thing that I haven't done. Uh, I think I mentioned it maybe last episode or this episode. I can't even remember, but... Man, that thing is a hard. Some of those things only spawn in one place across the entirety of the Ashlands. And for a lot of those pieces to make them, there's usually only one or two. So, like, oh, that's going to be hard and it's going to suck. I can't say I'm not going to try because, uh, you know, I'm like that. But, yeah. Th this could go down as the last thing that we do in the Ashlands update. But I... I, I you know, I felt like I said that like five videos ago and then I just continued to do stuff. But, yeah. Uh, but I do got to acknowledge, man, we did it. We, we, you know, we did it.